How the hell are you? Psycho Mike, your tattooed madman. Uh, my wrestling fans, uh, wrestling friends and brothers, sisters and brothers, I want you to check out this new uh, program, man. I just found it on YouTube, and it's pretty damn good. I enjoy it. It's called Big Time Memories from Big Time Wrestling in Detroit with the Sheik. Those are the wrestling days I grew up with, man. It's just good wrestling stories. And actually, there's one on there I just watched today called Dressing Room Confidential. Uh, they're talking about one of my favorite promoters and favorite men in the whole world, Ricky Cortez, and talk about his ring. So I want you to check out their program. It's on Rocks TV. Just check out Rocks TV on YouTube. And uh, they got some good stuff. It's very, very good content, and uh, you'll like it. And so let's get to it. It's a story about Ricky Cortez and his ring. Check this out. Dressing Room Confidential, Rocks TV, Big Time Memories. It's Rick, about Ricky Cortez, Ricky the Crusher Cortez. Uh, in the 1980, he was starting his promotion, uh, you know, with, you know, other guys and a lot of the big time wrestling stars. And he decided uh, he needed a wrestling ring. Of course. <laughs> so he's going to build it himself. Uh-oh. So Ricky Cortez, you know, takes it upon himself to build a wrestling ring for his promotion. So the very first time that it was used wasn't for his promotion. Uh, in 1980, I think this would have been in October of 1980, uh, Ron Martinelli and Louis Martinez started a small promotion. Ron Martinelli got a big settlement because at the time, or a couple years earlier, he was coming out of a dry cleaners with his you know, clothes and a car uh, inadvertently went in reverse instead of going forward and pinned him against the brick wall oh, of the cleaners and Ooh. he held it off you know, enough, but he was still injured. Yeah. And he ended up getting maybe $750,000 so what better way to spend that money? Could have bought the Sheik's house. Well, he could have, yeah. but you know, let's start a wrestling promotion. <laughs> yeah, so there's right. a great way to lose there your you money go. fast. Absolutely. So on this promotion, <clears throat> they were going to use Ricky Cortez's ring for the very first time. And in the opening match that night, Ricky Cortez versus Al Barr. You know, yeah, there's a dandy. You know, you can see excitement just <laughs> generating mm -hmm. from that ring. Quite a pair to draw to. So anyway, what happened was uh, the bell rings, they shake hands, and then they come, and I think Ricky gave Albar a fireman's carry. Puts them down. They both get up, look at each other, you know, okay, and then get back together, and Albar gives uh, Ricky Cortez a fireman's, you know, carry. It's like, oh, Oh boy. So then Ricky Cortez goes to one of his all time favorite moves. He grabs Al Bar, takes him by the hair, and he pulls him back by the ropes. And then he knocks him down. And then he takes Ricky Cortez, puts his uh, one foot on Al Bar's wrist. And then he takes the other foot and, like, one, two, three, stomps on it. <laughs> and then he pulls himself up on the ropes and jumps down with both feet on his hand. You know, our Al Bar is just writhing in pain. And then Ricky, oh, I gotta give it to him again. So he puts his foot on his wrist, and then he goes one, two, three stomps on his hand, and he jumps up on the rope, and he comes down, and the whole ring collapses. <laughs> they went right through the boards. Oh, no. And when you can see this footage, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about. And then when you see in slow motion, you know, once he comes down, and then everybody, the referee, Al Bar, and Ricky Cortez, they can't be seen at all. <laughs> you know, they, they just sink went into straight. oblivion. And from that's once what they happened. Came. And then it, it took like 45 minutes for them to go find some more two by fours, you know, to work that side of the ring. Wow. And the rest of the night, we were told, you know, when you're working on that side of the ring, try to stay away from that point. So, and you fans will see this footage and hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. So the for one and these only years. appearance of Ricky Cortez's masterwork. Yeah. Wow, well, there you go. And then uh, there was a time, I have to bring this one up. Uh, funny story. Uh, it, it concerns the
This is the Tattooed Magman Saito Mike. And if you don't want to get locked in a mental ward with me, you'll click like and hit subscribe now. Bro!